Hello, and welcome to a Momo Monday here on Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to the Monday, October 23rd, 2023 Crosswords, and go for that 1,333 day streak. A couple other puzzles at the end too. Anyway, here's your spoiler alert for the Monday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Minis, always free to play. Alright, let's do it. Uh, Fitch, I am, this is N-I-H. No, this one was made with I as the only vowel. Uh, pitch. <laughs> this is inch. Okay. Um, itch, mit, mini, and nth degree. Part of a foot. I was thinking like iambic pentameter. <laughs> NIH, National Institute of Health, not too far away from where I live. And, and uh, this one was made with only I's in it. Lots of I's, T's, C's, and H's. Pitch, itch, nth, fitch, inch. Yep. Nice little I theme. Anyway, now for the main event. That's the Monday Daily Grid, which is by Stella Zawistowski today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. And I recognize Stella's name because she's a multiple time, like, top 10 finisher of a uh, American Crossword Puzzle Tournament. And she also comments over on a uh, Diary of a Crossword Fiend. Super duper duper fast. Um, but you know what? I might try to take this one a bit more relaxed. Let's uh, let's see what Stella Zalasowski has in store for us. Let's get into it. Handle difficult metals matters satisfactorily. Club in a Barry Manilow hit. Ready for business. Maybe it's open. Insect in the colony is an ant. This is the Copa Cabana. Listing of disciplinary infractions, 50s to 80s. Okay, have a liking for and a nightmare at Elm Street. This is Cope. Gems with a fire, fire variety is Opal. Uh, okay, painting known for its enigmatic smell is the Mona Lisa. Follow orders is probably Obey. Device connected to a router is a modem. Actor comedian Carvey is Dana. First responder is, responder is EMT. And one of a pair of shakers. This is Obama. Mm, Maraca. Okay. Finds on a map. Maybe it locates song syllables. Spoken is oral. Alan Alda of Marriage Story. Stood. Okay. Maybe it's a rose or something. This is permanent record. I wonder why it's 50s to 80s. Certain songbirds or escapades are larks. This is probably a rose. Fairbanks is in Alaska. Skip the elaborate wedding, say, is elope. American blank. This is Maya Rudolph of SNL. This is a muck, wildly out of control. Tan adhesive is some kind of oh masking tape. 70s to 90s. No guts, no glory. Marissa Tomei of Spider-Man No Way Home. The shaped cut is a notch. Happy meal is a McDonald's offering. End of class sound is the bell, I think. This is DSL. Have a liking for partial two. Pigeon shelters are called coats. Abbreviation before a year is established. Star of the Mission Impossible films. That's Tom Cruise. Amazed could be a odd. And uh, Ben and Jerry's. Prayers end is amen. Big fuss is an adieu. Fixed term bank offering that pay pays well. Way in or out. Chaotic spectacles is seen. Vice President Spiro Agnew. Pennies are cents. Sit for a portrait is pose, like now, ASAP. Works by Picasso, Por Ejemplo's Art Day. Tector's Astonishment spelled cutesily. OMG. Recycling option that could collects paper, plastic, and metals together. Single stream. Isn't it called single stream? This is MTV. This is a SAR. Home of the Taj Mahal's Agra. Oh, just single streaming. Unforeseen problem is a snag. Bro's sibling is sis. Campfire remains are ashes. Convention hosting Swiss city is Geneva. Bad habits are vices. Easy to eat, as some grapes and watermelons These are seedless. It'll all work out in the end. Star in Lyra is Vega. Article in her blouse is a bra. Cool and distant is aloof. Last is final. High yield CD and Lola at the Copacabana. I see. So we've got here is we've got, uh, how we have consumed music. 
over the decades. Between the 50s and the 80s, it was records. That's uh, sort of predates me. I mean, I've seen records. I had a record player growing up and some records, but not really a way that I ever consumed music. Of course, I was born uh, the very tail end of the decade. I did listen to a lot of tapes as a kid, and I remember buying CDs. Uh, what we're missing here is like MP3, but I guess MP3 probably doesn't end any uh, <laughs> any non-music related phrases. And then now we just stream. You know. Yeah, that's nice. You know, 8-track also wouldn't work. Record, tape, CD, and streaming can all end non-musical phrases. A high-yield CD certificate of deposit there. You know, I've heard of, like, single stream recycling, so this is the least familiar one to me. Oh, you know what? I should have switched. Single stream recycling. But there's a Wikipedia page that just redirects to single stream recycling. So that's a, you know, that's a little bit of a stretch, I think, but totally called for given the theme. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Let's look through this thing, see if we can learn something. Thanks, Obama. American Idol, yeah, coats. You can also put doves in a coat. Actually, doves and pigeons? <laughs> What's the difference between doves and pigeons? Columba day. Columbiforms. Doves and pigeons. In English, the smaller species tend to be called doves and the larger ones pigeons. However, the distinction is not consistent and does not exist in most other languages. So, they're basically the same thing. I mean, the pigeon and dove both redirect to Columba Day. I guess doves are just, we think of them as just white. Estab. I feel like you most often see estid, E-S-T-D, rather than estab. <laughs> door, <laughs> I couldn't figure out do door. Made in the USA is what I would say, but I guess made in USA you might see it like on a, on a label or something. Got a couple of comedians in here. Alan Alda is a class, classic Crossford uh, staple. Yeah, a decent number of proper nouns, but it's all Monday-ish. I kind of like this cheeky little spelled out OMG. Spiro Agnew. Yeah, nice, uh, nice Monday theme. I like it. Quite a nice puzzle. And, uh, pretty normal time, I think. 301? I'll take it. I'll take it. Anyway, let's, uh, let's move on to the plus word, shall we? Here's your spoiler alert for the plus word. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Plus word's free to play. It's a British mini crossword meets Wordle at the end, offered by The Telegraph. I like to see how British it is from day to day. Let's, let's do it. Paces and rungs, or steps. Frightened could be scare again. Didn't we have scare there yesterday? Multiplied by his times. Expel or dispossess is uh evict maybe civic looks good there piebald horse is a pinto an exclusive story is a scoop we have tempo here pretty pleased with that uh that plus word honda car is indeed a civic i always like this is a pa uh, palindrome Amino acid, the recto versus the verso, right? We got several of these British style. Clue it as a clue and as an anagram. I really feel like yesterday's plus word had scare in it too, didn't it? 
Maybe not. Let me know. Uh, anyway, next puzzle we do here is telegraph code words. Not the only non-free puzzle I do on video, but quite fun. Really kind of into it these days. So let's uh, let's see if we can make some progress here. Can we see this? Yeah, okay. This looks like an E, right? Yeah, definitely. I want this to be freeze or something. Doesn't look so bad, actually. I guess, what is this, though? Yarder or something? No, this is an O, right? So snooze or something? It looks pretty good. Uh, excess and ceremony here. It's Yorker, Rosemary, Parsley, Sage, Rosemary, and Thyme. This was Freeze, I think. No, Breeze, Snob. This is probably a mount, which means we can find our Q, my favorite moment. Uh, oh, maybe it's not. Wait, where's our Q? <laughs> okay, this is Almond and Slouch. This is Adjust Quietude, okay. Had a hard time recognizing that word. This is thwart, home, it's not made. Uh, this is Yorker, skates, revoke, home page, and we have safety there, nice. Wow, I'm trying to figure out this quietude. It's not so easy. Nice. And uh, David C. Duncan Decker commented, wondering if these are man-made or computer-generated. I think that's a good question. I wonder how hard it would be to computer-generate. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, it does seem like oftentimes tough can be easier than regular, or at least pretty close. Um, I guess I want... O here and E here. Is that true? So few E's. I think that's better than an E here. It's got to be an E or an O. So I guess I want bond. I guess it could be bold also. And doesn't this have to be E? Let's look through the rest of this thing, just try to see if there's a better candidate for E. This could be like an L. Or an S or something. A bit confused by the start here. Hmm. See, I, I think it's, it's hard to figure this out. I guess in like regular, they give you sort of more common letters, but to start with, but. That's probably an E or an A at least. This one here. Am I willing to guess which one? I don't think so. Body, I guess, is possible. I guess that makes sense. Then we'll put the E here. This doesn't look that good, actually. So maybe this is an A? Any chance this is an E? Yearly? I think I think I think we've now broken in to some extent. Something like repeat? Appetite. All right, we've got the eye there. That's nice. Dynamite. Feeling pretty good now. Uh, what is this? Adjacent. Not gonna give us very many word letters. Lipstick. Asps there. This has got to be shoe, surely. Upheaval. I see up there. We've got our cue. My favorite moment. Um, a fool's cap. Is that like a dunce cap? Xylos. Interesting. Uh, Wheezy and Magnolia. I was gonna say Mongolia. What's a fool's cap? 
like I said, I was guessing Dunscap and Xylos seems like it'll probably be botanical. I don't think that was uh easier. It's a fool's cup, apparently the size of paper. Now standardized at about 13 by 8. Wow. Full scap folio. So it's like legal ish. This was the traditional paper size used in some parts of Europe in the British Commonwealth before the adoption of the A4 standard paper. Is letter paper basically just a. Uh, where, where is that popular? I do know that, um, you know, the A series of paper has the advantage of being mathematically good. <laughs> when you cut, yeah, if you're folded in half, it still has the same aspect ratio. Paper sizes. So this is going <laughs> to, it's probably not a good idea to, to go down this rabbit hole. So A series does seem to be standard lots of places. Ah. I see so letter versus A4 and the colors intensity represents how how much it's been adopted. So basically almost all the world except for <laughs> USA, Mexico, Canada, I guess this is the Philippines, uh, and some parts of South and Central America. It's kind of like the metric system, you know, versus the imperial system. Interesting map, interesting map. You know, I've been to Europe and South Korea and some other places, and I never really noticed that the paper was a different size. I mean, I know A4 and letter are not so far away, but... This is, we're far away from Fool's Cap, which is sort of similar to legal sized paper, I think. I see. 8.5 by 14 is legal sized paper. Anyway, that's, that's news to me. Oh yeah, Xylose also. It's a monosaccharide. Sugar first isolated from wood. So botanical is pretty much right. Let's uh, let's do the connection. This last puzzle of the day. The, this one is free to play. I'm trying to get four groups of four. And uh, let's try to figure this out. I see banger and scone and trifle and mash as kind of like British food words. But a lot of these are kind of food words. Pickle. Pickle. A scrape. A spot and a bind. As like a tough situations or something. Sticky situation. Alright. That's actually purple. Usually what I try to go for first. Uh, if these were right. Got bop, jam, groove, banger, I see, as songs. Then chill, hang, lounge, and mash, I guess. And then loaf, trifle, scone, and roast are all foods. What did I say? Lounge, chill, hang, and loaf. <laughs> loaf means to hang. What? Yeah, that's, that's got to be right. I, I, what did I include as hanging before? Uh, mash? <laughs> I don't think people will mash when they hang out. Uh, British cuisine, mash, roast, scone, I should say, and trifle. So that's kind of a British connections puzzle today. Anyway, thanks for watching. This Momo Monday. Go visit Momo on Instagram at momoco.the.shiba. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you tomorrow for some Tuesday puzzles. See you then.